Oh, welcome back my uh, gardening friends. Well, when I revealed my uh, Jerusalem artichokes a few months ago, some went rotten, but we managed to get enough for a harvest and to plant up uh, into these um, uh, old buckets. And when I was revealing them, I said Jerusalem artichokes will grow in anything. And as soon as I said it, I thought, of Jason and Colleen at Clive's Conundrum at Garden. I'll leave a, a link to their channel on the end screen. Just press uh, press that and it'll take you to their channel. Have a look. They're getting close to a thousand subscribers now, so they could do with a little hand. Great channel. And uh, he would remember me having a rogue potato in my bucket of stones. And we actually got a harvest. So I thought, well, why not? Let's, uh, let's give it a go and see if a Jerusalem artichoke will grow in a bucket of stones. I will water it, I won't feed it. Uh, we'll see uh, what comes of it. So I'll put you on the tripod. We'll pop a few stones in. Bit of everything. Anything that I pick up off the beds, I uh, throw into the buckets that I've got scattered around uh, the allotments. Twigs, bit of anything. So that's the Jerusalem artichoke, there's its uh, umbilical cord and every one of these nodules will throw out uh, a shoot. So I'll pop that in there. There's all sorts in there, guys. I've got a few more stones at home that we can put in. This is from the... Oh, gum, that stinks. Whew. I've got a few more stones and debris that I can pop in there uh, as uh, they start to show. So we'll see how uh, this gets on uh, later on. Uh, I normally start harvesting in November. This year, with all the weather, cold, damp, snow, ice, I didn't reveal them till late and I was lucky enough to get enough, uh, like I said, to have some in the fridge, to have in my lunchbox and to plant on. And it'll be nice if uh, this one reproduces. Remember, nature always finds a way. I'm still uh, really busy at home with the DIY so I'm just dropping the odd video in now and again and uh, I have spotted uh, both of uh, my uh, fish so they've uh, survived the winter and the uh, wildflower wildlife garden is coming to alive. Some of the uh, miniature dafts and uh, whatever they're called. This is uh, turning out to be quite uh, quite nice to look at. And the tulips that we've planted in between the strawberries are now coming, uh, coming out, coming alive. They'll be flowering and they should die back by the time the uh, strawberries are, are ready to grow. And by that time, hopefully, we'll have got all this uh, netted up as well. My manure bin starting to uh, fill up. I need to get the front on this. The sheet there, the uh, IBC goes to there, and then the plastic sheet just ensures that any juices run down the side through uh, a little filter there, which is just basically compost and a bit of wire, and then it drops into there. No uh, juices yet, but it does come out like liquid black gold. Oh, they're lovely nuggets. Nice enough to eat. I need to do a count up of the uh, compost that we found uh, this month, but it's getting close to uh, nearly uh, two and a half thousand, three thousand uh, litres. I haven't counted it yet, but we've already got two thousand litres before we got this other find. So uh, we 
we'll have plenty to uh, fill the beds. I like to mix it with soil, leaf mould, wood chips, three year old wood chips that is, two year old leaf mould and it does certainly make a nice uh, nice mix. I say everything's just uh, wet through at the moment but the uh, compost with the perlite in does uh, help and we've got, we've got bits and bobs of uh, everything even these beds are settling brand new beds they will settle I need to top them off again these will be for my giants don't forget leave me a comment join in with the comments have a chat to other people uh, thumbs up thumbs down for the interaction and uh, why not consider subscribing to see what I get up to Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Try for now.